Hi, I'm Pat Conroy, an engineer with the St. Louis District Corps of Engineers, and I'm going to describe to you three methods that the Corps uses to control excess under seepage and sand boils at its levees. In a previous video, I described how a flooding river against a levee can cause flow of river water into the underlying sand and gravelly aquifer. That flow can cause excess pressure to act upwards on the base of a clay and silt blanket. And if the flood is in place for a long enough time, there will be groundwater and seepage flow through the blanket and emerging at the toe of the levee. One way the Corps uses to counteract this is to construct what we call a seepage berm on the land side of the levee. The berm is made of sand, and the weight of the sand in the berm plus the weight of the blanket is enough to counteract the upward pressure acting below it. Of course, since the berm is made of sand, any seepage that emerges through the blanket will flow into the berm and just harmlessly flow out the toe of the berm. A second method that the Corps uses to control excess under seepage is called a relief well. A relief well is, uh, well, simply a slotted pipe that's drilled into the ground, and the slots in the pipe allow groundwater under pressure to flow into that pipe, into the interior of the pipe, and then that water will flow out the top of the well. And in doing so, that reduces the pressure acting at the base of the blanket. If the pressure is reduced, the amount of seepage is reduced, and also the occurrence of sand boils is reduced. The third and final method I want to discuss is called a slurry trench cutoff. The slurry trench cutoff is built over on the river side, and the cutoff trench is constructed or excavated completely through the blanket, all the way through the sands and gravelly aquifer. And then that trench is backfilled with a clayey material. And then when completed, that trench cuts off the flow from the river so that there's no excess pressure developed. And of course, if there's no excess pressure, there's no under seepage or sand boils developed. The Corps has used each of these three remedies many times with great success to protect its levees against excess under seepage and sand boils.